Hello everybody, it's CBH Games, and I'm playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. Tutorial missions. I'm just going to play through those real fast, I'm not going to play through the whole game like that. What I am going to do is play through the whole game uh, called XCOM Enemy Within, which is basically the DLC for this game. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story about my history with this game. I was there a few years, like, I think, 2000. What is the year? What is the, what's the year this game came out? 2011? Yeah, sometime around then. I basically was. I, I would say done with gaming. I wasn't sure if I was going to continue it. There was a lot of first person shooters coming out, like Call of Duty and stuff like that, that I wasn't really into. And it was just nothing but first person shooters. Now, I like platformers. I like the little, little action adventure games. I was just call them third person. What was they, shooters? Yeah. yeah, I also liked RPGs. I liked a, a bunch, a cornucopia of games, but first person shooters really didn't do it for me. And I was about to just hang up the whole gaming thing and just sort of just like maybe play a few games here and there. Uh, you know, as you do. Maybe like, I don't know, break out the Super Nintendo, play that for a bit. But yeah. Then I heard about this game called XCOM. I was like, what's, what's that? I saw a review of it. Uh, I think it was yeah, it was the Angry Joe sh show review. It was basically all I have ever wanted from a strategy game. It had RPG elements. It had really actiony parts to it. It was just the game that brought me back into gaming. And I've been loving it ever since I played this one. I played XCOM 2. It was just awesome. Now, before I play the whole XCOM games, I thought I'd just go back and look. Just look at this. XCOM Enemy Want to Know. We'll just play the tutorial missions. Well, I think it's just one mission. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm so excited. Can't wait to do this. Uh, let's see. Normal, easy. Doesn't matter because we're not going to keep this. We're just going to switch over to the expansion excuse me and then just go from there all right second wave yeah why not just turn all of it on these are basically difficulty modifiers in the game all right we'll say the classic giving us options yeah yeah why not actually we'll just, we'll just leave it at normal i'll set it to classic that's like the impossible is just like read this for for players who find joy in suffering the tutorial will not be enabled for impossible difficulty I don't know. let's hit accept this has got to be one of my favorite games of all time next to Batman Arkham City I was about to say Asylum I played City first. That's a whole another story from the time, but yeah. Enjoy this intro for man. This was actually pretty good. Still is to this day, actually. Yeah, touch it. That's a good idea. I need lumbar support. Lumbar support? Did I make that joke? That was trying on. Come on, CB, you're better. So that was not good. I mean, who's gonna clean that up? I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be messy.
Who's gonna clean that up? Hello, that Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Still gives me shells. That's a really good intro. Hey, 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 hey. Put it on the That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Yeah. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. So, I'm the Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. I really like the tutorial mission. That's why I've been so quiet. I've been like, yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't creepy at all, was it? right here so as you can see you control multiple soldiers yeah this is a move up to two times per turn the number of remaining moves is indicated on the soldiers unit flag Good. so now advance to the vehicle nearby yeah so he used already one so he's got down to just one more left and there we go Delta two your turn move up to the debris and right here that thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. So there's two types of types of cover types types of cover. Full cover and half cover. This is half cover. Half cover only gives you a little bit of defense bonus. But full cover gives you a map a huge defensive bonus. You almost never get hit in full cover. Delta three. Move to that vehicle dead ahead. Full cover is a Full cover is a full shield. Half cover is a half shield. You see it? Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. See? Right here. Full cover is a full shield. Half cover is like a half shield right here. Full cover is really Go important. Go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you better double time it. So if you dash... You basically move faster, and you are harder to hit uh, while you're dashing. So keep that in mind for later. It's harder to hit in Overwatch. I'll go more into Overwatch while I do. 
He's having a rough Looks day. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It a real rough like day. Something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Doctor Ballin, what's he saying? He is saying, "Help me." That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength. Probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. A soldier may cover long distances by dashing. This will consume both moves and end the soldier's turn. Keep that in mind and be very, very careful. When you dash, be very careful when you dash. Because you got a lot of blood here. Let's screw yourself. Roger. See where it's coming from. Oh one of the recon team. Or what's left of it. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. He must have a massive Even more stomach. Ache. Is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's Some of you XCOM fans just got a little scared because you saw that. You know what did that. You all know what did that. Don't spoil it for people yet. Don't be surprised by it. For those who haven't played, this is like a... But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Almost 10 years old. Roger. An almost 10 year old game now. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. You haven't played it yet? Well. Delta One. I hope we're doing a good job to get you interested in playing it. Because it's a really good game. You should play it at least once. In position. Looks clear. It's basically out for everything. Get in there and get to cover. Smashing the Delta windows. Two. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid yeah, let's make some noise, people. <laughs> let's let everything in the area know that we're here. <laughs> and thus get ready to kill us. <laughs> oh man, this guy's making bad decisions. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. So, this is about to pop off. Just want you to know that. See if you can communicate with him. It's going to be obvious. His weapon. If you can't figure that out yet. I will try. Through the window! Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. What is this? Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. What is this? He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. To send her the, the camera on the circuit. Oh. So, yeah, let's get everyone right on top of that. What is he? What are these? Uh, are there some entrances? That doesn't. Doesn't matter. Delta three, move in and disarm him. Carefully. <laughs> you trying to get Delta three killed? Okay. Good luck. By the way, I have no choice. This is a tutorial, so you basically have to do exactly what I say. Oh. 
Ah, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. I'm so glad we made all that noise. So when you're flanked, you get a yellow shield. That means the other person can hit you without any cover bonuses protecting you. So you want to avoid that. In fact, I think they yeah they get crits too, which means extra damage right, if they land a shot. Okay. So you press the enter button to get in there. Okay, now you can press one, shoot, two to Overwatch. Fire on first enemy moves it within your line of sight. With a small aim penalty. Now, everybody can do that. And of course, there's the grenades and hunker down. Devil's cover provides immunity to critical, hit, to critical hits but reduces line of sight. Sight radius. But right now, we just want to shoot this guy. Press one. There we go. Nice shot. Delta Four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Mm hmm. This guy's body bounced <laughs> when the grenade hit him. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. You keep letting people get flanked, man. Come on. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. Show me how to move the camera. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Once we do it. This mission, we'll be able to just do what we want instead of, well, being forced to make, let's just say, bad decisions. I well, I say that, but I don't think my decisions will be as good. We'll see. We'll see. That's it. It's over. My decisions. I stumbled on decisions for a minute there. That would go. Roger that. I slurred it like I was drunk. Decisions. My decisions. I. My decisions. Oh, good. The promise. The promise. <laughs> uh, so you get an aircraft. First bonus. Like, you can't do the others because this is a tutorial. But I'll, I'll take North America. For America. Affirmative. We are coming home. So that's the sole survivor of, let's just say, our underwhelming first outing. What are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Time. You can tell these graphics are kind of old, but just a little bit. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. So this is basically my first time playing on PC, this game on PC. I've played it on consoles, but it also comes out on Android and, well, various other places. They want us to go to the barracks. But that's going to be it for right now. And if you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. And thank you for joining me on this little adventure. Take care. Bye.